Absolutely. But we don't do that. We just jump right into the sack with them. And they're like, oh, I don't, I don't know why I didn't know that he don't was. Don't let it be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you're done. You're really if, done. If he make you go, ooh, wee, it's over. It's over. Go what? Ooh, wee. You know, <laughs> if he make you do that, ladies, <laughs> ladies, y'all done, man. And dudes know this. Dudes know this stuff, man. Hey guys, we're back with another video. Today we have a video from uh, Art Robert Blakes. I think this is Bishop R.C. Blakes. I think so too. Yep, mm -hmm. he is talking about how to know if a man loves you. So let's jump right into this. I'm, I'm interested to see. Know if a man really loves you. Um, well, I mean, you know, nobody's God, right? But here's some great things to focus on. I believe these three things are definitely a part of the process or part of the equation if a man actually loves you. You'll be able to tell by his language. His language will always empower you, will make you feel desired, will make you feel beautiful. His language will make you feel safe. You can also tell by his energy. His energy is what you sense from him when he's not saying a word. And then ultimately you can tell by his treatment. When a man loves you, he's going to do at least two things. He's going to always be consistent and he's going to um, be conscious because when a man loves you, he learns you. Just my thoughts. So you want to know if a man really loves you. Um, All right, I let it go a little bit because it was a little bit, missed a little bit in the front. Well, I took some notes down while he was talking there. I just want to make sure that I address each one of those areas that he mm -hmm. was talking about. Um, there's a lot of truth to what he's saying, uh, but there's a few things that I want to add on to it. Sure. Good. The first thing he mentioned was language, mm -hmm. his language. Very important. Very important. How a man speaks to you and the, the words that he uses does matter to show that if he, if he loves you. If a man is speaking in future terms. Yeah. That means that he really he, he sees you in his future. But mm -hmm. if he's speaking in past or present terms, eh, he's really not really not trying to move forward with you. Can you give an example so, of what that looks like? Yeah. So when I met her and we first started talking, everything mm -hmm. was in future terms. Because if you, you watched our, our if you watched our <laughs> uh any of our stuff, if you knew, I knew I was gonna marry this woman from the moment I saw her. Yeah. So everything I talked to her was about in future terms. Mm -hmm. You know, I was always talking about, hey, we're gonna go, let's, we're gonna go do this. You know, in a few months, so we're gonna do that. Or, yeah, I can't wait to spend my first Christmas with you. Or it's gonna be cool uh, to go meet my parents in a few months. Everything was in the future terms because I knew she was part of my future. Mm -hmm. And so when a man doesn't use future terms with you and everything's in the present, and the only and the only time he talks about the future is when he's gonna sleep with you. Mm. And things like that, then that lets you know kind of where you are. And a lot of you ladies miss that. A lot of you, may, and you're frustrated because you miss that. Like, and then I've I mean? seen it when when the when the future is brought up by the woman, he he defers back to the present. Well, yes. So so in a year, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Let's when we plan our trip together. Well, we'll, we'll worry about that later. We got to save mm -hmm. up for it and all that. It's always a. Yep. I know what you mean. And the problem with with this with this is is you ladies, you guys can't see this because you caught up on. How cute he is, how much money he makes, and this and that, and all this other stuff that doesn't even really matter. You get caught up on that, and that's how you end up getting hurt. Yeah, that's how you end up going for the bad boy, and how you miss out. You miss who? You miss Clark Kent going for Superman. You miss it because you think that this you're gonna turn this Superman into Clark Kent. And Clark is fine with them glasses on. Clark Kent, he fine is with Superman. Them glasses. He is. <laughs> no, but he fine with the glasses. But that's what they. Trust. But that's what they miss though. <laughs> you, you miss that. Yeah. Clark Kent is the is the personification of who Superman really is. Mm -hmm. A good guy born in a small town with good traditional home home brain. Superman is what happens when you mess with some some about something that Clark Kent loves. Yeah. Every man has a Superman. Every good man has Superman inside of him. Mm -hmm. You come in my house and try to mess with my family, and see what happens. It's gonna be a long. It's gonna be smoke in the city. Because later the day, I'm Clark Kent. I'm as dull as they come, a vanilla. Man, fine. But I have Superman inside of me. So I think that's where a lot of women mess up. But, he, Secondly, but you're fine. Th thank you. Thank you. Secondly, he talked about <laughs> <laughs> he talked about a man's energy. He talked yes. about his energy. If the only energy a man gives you is sexual like energy, 
Mm -hmm. then he ain't really in love with you. He's in love with your body. He's in love with what you can do with, do what you can do for him. If the only energy he gives you is sexual energy, he, no, 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 no. That's simple. That's real simple. The lead talked about his treatment. Mm -hmm. His treatment. If a man playing games with you, he don't love you. If he's playing the who takes first game and he's playing the, you know, the, uh, who, what's that? The I, I disappear for a few days and I come back game. A lot of dudes play that game. And I'm going to say... Mr. And Lucy. Yes. I'm gonna, and I'm going to say this to you, ladies. Y'all are a big part of the reason why these dudes play this game, these games. Because you step over Clark Kent to get Superman. <sighs> He's boring. He's Boring is great. If you want a, if you want a long-term relationship in a boring marriage... Boring is stability, Boring honey. is called stability. Mm -hmm. You know what's really boring? The ground, but it's always there for you, right? You know, you know, you know what's really, really boring? Lights, but it's what's there when you need them, right? Water, boring. It's there when you need it, but you guys have been taught to chase the excitement. That's immaturity. That's immaturity. That's a big sign of immaturity. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talk about what men's supposed to do and all this stuff like that, but everything that man is talking about. When a man tries to give it to him to a woman, she shirks it. If she's immature, if she's immature, if mm -hmm. she's hurt, if she's unhealed, she will shirk it mm -hmm. because it's not flashy. And so, because you know who who constantly has to be stimulated like that? Children. Children. I I teach yeah. kindergarten. Yes, yeah. all day every day. We got to entertain them. <laughs> you got one minute per per year to keep their attention. At five, you got five minutes. So we have a lot of mm -hmm. adults, ladies, <laughs> the same thing. who got that same problem. You got five minutes to keep me entertained. If I'm not entertained within the next five minutes, bye. Ladies, y'all always know how dumb men are, but we shall be getting over on y'all. <laughs> I ain't lying. Y'all always know how dumb men dumb. No, 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 no. I will not. I never allow a woman to say that in my presence. Men are extremely, extremely intelligent, extremely calculating. Those are facts. Because y'all be playing them But games. we still, exactly. <laughs> but after all these millennia, y'all still can't figure out when a man wants to be serious with you. Facts. But one thing for sure, ladies, this one word. If you want to see if a man's serious about you, he's going to be consistent. Mm -hmm. How long you know me? You know me when I had hair, girl. You know me when I've I known was. you 23 years. Exactly. 23 years. You and, had some nice waves, too. And have I... <laughs> I should post a picture. Anyway, <laughs> it's and ha, have I really changed that much as far as consistency? My consistency is no. I've been consistent. It's grown. Yes. Yeah. I've been consistent for twenty three years. Mm -hmm. He can't. He can't just pretend to be consistent. Consistency is something that is going to catch you in the end. Every time if you're faking, consistency is gonna catch you. Mm hmm Because you're gonna at some point you're gonna slip and you're gonna be inconsistent. Yep. If you want to know if a man loves you, a man loves you is consistent or is highly interested in you is consistent. Mm -hmm. He's consistent in what he does. He's consistent in what he says. And he's consistent to watch over his word. That's what it is. So watch a man's consistency and you'll find out who he is. That's all you got to That's do. pretty simple. Watch and listen. Yes. And he, he said that a man is conscious. Conscious of what he does, how what he says. and How he moves. How he moves. Choices he, choices he makes. Choices he yep. makes. Yes. These are all character traits of a good man. But y'all pass them all up for a dude that you like. This is the problem, and I'm gonna say this. Y'all can get mad. This is a problem a lot of people make. If you really if you really serious about a relationship, mm -hmm. ladies, stop giving up the cookie so quick. Most of y'all are out here you having sex before y'all even go on the first date. And you wonder why your, your scruples are all messed up and you can't see straight because you mixed your chemicals already with this person. Mm. Dopamine, oxytocin, look it up. You already mixed chemicals with this person. You have no clear clear line of sight. You have mixed business with pleasure. So now you don't have no clear line of sight. You're done. Have a sound vetting system where, hey, what do you think about Marcus? What, what do you mm -hmm. think about him Him and I? What, what, are, what are you seeing? Yes. And then here, kind of be open to hear what they have to say and then, you know, make your decision from there. Absolutely. But we don't do that. We just jump right into the sack with them. And they're like, oh, I don't, I don't know why I didn't know that he don't was. Don't let it be good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you're done. You're really if, done. If we make you go, ooh, wee, it's over. It's over. Go what? Ooh, wee. You know, <laughs> if we make you do that, ladies, <laughs> ladies y'all done, man. And dudes know this. Dudes know this stuff, man. <sighs>
<sighs> like, like I said, y'all think we dumb? Men are not dumb. Men are they, men built this world, and they are extremely intelligent. When especially when it comes yes, to getting what they are. want. So I don't want to hear that that men are dumb. No, we're not. Extremely intelligent. <laughs> So, you know what? Let's go in this video. I know this officially mad now. So, with that, <laughs> we'll see you that's in the comments. Said.